Creating web accessible applications in Access 2010 is now a very straightforward process. When creating a new database, the first thing you need to do is select blank web database as opposed to simply selecting blank database. Once you've selected that option, you can go ahead and begin creating your tables. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to be importing an Excel spreadsheet that has been pre-populated with the 2009 Philadelphia Phillies roster. After running through the import spreadsheet wizard, we will have inside of our database application a fully functional table that's been populated with some demonstration data. We'll rename that for clarity and then go about the process of creating forms and reports that tie back into that table. Creating forms is very straightforward and we're simply going to accept the defaults that Access provides us with and save them back into the database container. After creating the form, we'll go ahead and do that same thing for a default report. Now that we have a table, a form, and a report all tied together, we want to go ahead and publish this out to the web. By selecting Publish to SharePoint and providing it with a SharePoint 2010 Access Services Location and Web Application name, Access will begin the process of what would have been a Access 2010 native application and converting it into a full-blown web application that is accessible from any of the popular browsers including Internet Explorer, Safari, and Firefox. We will see some progress as Access examines the application and then synchronizes it with our SharePoint 2010 site. After the synchronization is complete, we will be provided a link that we can pass along to any user that does not have access that becomes a fully functional representation of the form, the table, and the report that we just created. Here you can see we now have the ability inside the browser to simply go to the form we created and view all of the data keeping in mind as we page through these individual records that they are all hot editable and any changes we make will automatically be reflected in what amounts to a SharePoint list on the back end. Of course now this application is also massively scalable to tens or hundreds or thousands of users and can accumulate many many gigabytes of information. Of course the report we created is also fully viewable inside of the browser and the user gets a rich experience without having the need for the Native Access 2010 client. This is an extremely powerful feature in Access 2010.